Welcome back to Minecraft Legends and our little playthrough of the campaign mode. But before we get into anything, I wanted to change the character that we were using because I remember thinking to myself when we first started, you know, like maybe we could change the character every few episodes. Um, so I think we've used this character for a very, very long time at this point. And I fancied a little bit of a change, so we're going to go for this guy over here just to change things up a little bit and now that we've done that we can jump back into the playthrough so here we are back in the playthrough and let's take a look at the map because this base is the well they're going to build the a new base there will be a new piglin base in the world tonight so we are going to head over to there and we are going to stop them from being able to build a new base and this base here is the final horde of the Bastion base. So once we have taken this base down, that will be the final horde of the Bastion base taken down. And that will mean that we have got rid of every single horde of the Bastion base. So we need to be pretty careful here. Uh, because I imagine that they're going to put up quite the fight, uh, to be thoroughly honest with you. Right, let's build that across to there. That is the most rickety thing in existence, but you know, that's fine. Uh, try and, oh no, try not to burn. Uh, let's not do that. Burning is not good, so let's get everyone focusing on destroying that gate there. And while they focus on destroying that gate, I'm going to come on over to here. Uh, to this non-piglin nether terrain and I'm going to make sure that I have uh, my little collection of spawners ready because, you know, we're losing people already because people are sort of falling off. So, you know, we don't want people to be falling off just yet. It's a little bit early in the fight for them to be doing that. Come on, everyone. I need everyone working today. You have broken through their defenses. There we go. We have taken out that front gateway there and now we can pretty much force our way on in. Let's take that down because that will fire down on us. I'm going to take out these piglins here. Uh, there we go. Because if I can take out these piglins, then my guys can continue making progress. Can I get my dudes from down here? Uh, there we go. Let's pick all of you up here. And then let's build a ramp from here across to there so that way we can get everyone back into the battle nice and safely because our shield guy is very useful if we remember these guys are having a little bit of a regen moment but they are also sort of being attacked so you know that isn't great let's uh, get that taken down there so that is going to be destroyed. Can I do any damage against this? No, still can't do any damage against it. Um, but I'm going to grab you guys and ask you to help me take down this over here. Oh, that is going to cause me some issues. Can you guys focus on taking that down? Uh, there we go. You guys have completed taking down that spawner. So then the amount of piglins that are being spawned in is now being reduced. Oh, our shield guy can't fit through here. Oh, we might have to go a different way because that caused him to get quite damaged there um, because of that. Let's go round another way because otherwise we're going to end up leaving the shield guy behind and he's very, very useful. So I think we're going to have to go this way round. That sort of wasted a little bit of our progress there uh, when we should have been working over in this direction. But that's fine. We can work around that. Um, we can uh, deal with that. But we haven't lost too many people um, just yet. So I'm just going to make sure that we haven't left anyone over here because that will not be great if we've left anyone behind. Oh, yeah, we have left uh, one guy left behind over here. So let's uh, get him and get him back into battle as soon as possible. There we go. We can go. Oh, careful. We don't get hit by that. Right. So these guys here are now all ready to continue on moving forward. Oh, no, that's not fun. Maybe focus on taking that one down first. That one really is not fun. Uh, in the slightest. Let's get that taken down, shall we? Um, because that is making quick work of our people, which is not great. Uh, so let me come here and stand with these, and then we can have 
that one taken down there as well. And then there are quite a few of those towers. Uh, so let me... Um, right, do we just do a little bit of a run for it at this point? Um, yeah, let's do a little bit of a run for it. Just run straight on through here. And then get everyone to come and take this down. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, can you put your shield up please before they explode? Oh, there we go. Uh, so we, we've only lost four people so far. So we ain't doing too bad. Uh, it could be a lot worse. Uh, but So yeah, I'm quite happy with our progress. Oh, there we go. We made super duper quick work of that. And now let's take that down. And then I think we'll go for that piglin spawner next. Uh, because piglin spawners ain't great. Because yeah, they spawn piglins, which... Makes the fight a little bit harder for us. So, if we can get as many of those piglin spawners taken down, that is great. There we go. We have that taken down. And then let's go and take down that piglin spawner there. And then there's another one just around there, which we will move on to next. Uh, that sounds like uh, probably the best course of action. And then probably once we've got that taken down, we will... Uh, start focusing on taking down this gate here which will then take us up towards the portal so with that one down we can now take that spawner down and then as i said we will go straight in for the portal uh, i mean you guys can make a little bit of a start on it if you want i mean never told you to but why not right so now that has been taken down let me grab everyone from over here and we are now going to head towards the gate and we are going to have everyone work on taking down that gate to get us access to this portal because we're going to be taking this portal down there we go that has fallen there so i'm pretty sure we could probably just focus on that uh, i don't think that is going to really do as much issues uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, get a few people on it anyway. Not everyone. Uh, we'll sort of do a little bit of a divide and con- Oh, uh, sure. Let's do everyone. Change of plan. Uh, why not? Uh, let me come and take you down. Uh, oh, yeah. You are not good. I don't like that. Uh, that's That looks really powerful. Uh, we don't like that. Right. Uh, now, let's focus on getting you taken care of there let me just do a little bit of a battle over here to help take these guys down uh so let me am i doing damage against him or is that them doing damage against him i'm not entirely sure because i can't remember whether i could do damage against him last time he is a quite powerful oh we have taken him down there we go i want everyone to now go and focus on taking down that gate that gate doesn't have uh, much durability left in it so we should make quite quick work of this gate there we go the gate has fallen and right what's the course of action let's go over to this here in fact you look more powerful than that uh than the you look like you're spawning like something bigger i wonder what that is i don't believe that we've seen one of those before um, but I don't like it. Um, so that is the thing that we will take down next. So let's have everyone go and focus on taking that down, please. Thank you very much. Let's have everyone go and take that down. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'm just going to focus on taking down a couple of these piglins while they focus on taking that down. Have they managed to take it down? Yes, they have. They are making really really quick work of everything here so let's go and take that down there just because it's harder to defend against that because it's just above you taking uh, control i feel like the piglins are a little bit easier to deal with than that to be completely honest with you so let me go and take you down have you managed to do that yes you have you have done a brilliant job taking that down now let's go over here and take down uh, a couple of these piglin spawners because the less piglins the better because then that means that we don't have to be defending ourselves from all sides there we go let's try and take out as many of these piglins as we possibly can and people are already doing damage on the portal i mean i never told you to do damage on the portal but i mean if you're going to do damage on the portal i mean you can Ooh, there's a chest over here with some goodies. Let's see what goodies we can get. We got 61 gold. That's not bad. 61 gold. I like that 61 gold. Let me uh, try and help you take this guy out here because 
He looks like he's doing quite a bit of damage against you because we are now actually losing quite a few people. I think that might have been because I did a little bit of a divide and conquer plan uh, for taking down these, uh, which I don't think worked very well. So let me try and get a few hits on you before. Oh no, you're doing me a little bit of damage. Let me go and stand with my shield guy for a little bit. Uh, just for a little bit of protection now. Are we at the point where we can move on to the portal? Um, I believe so. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, nothing down there that I'm really interested in. Uh, nothing down here. No, we are pretty much good to go to uh, start work on the portal then. Let me get a few hits on you every now and again. And then I'll sort of run back over here. Uh, for a little bit of a regen moment, but you know, we're not doing actually a regen moment where we have to leave the battleground, so I see that as a victory, to be completely honest with you. Now, let me get a few more hits in on you, and then you have set me flying, but you know what? You didn't do too much damage to me, so I'm going to come back and do a little... Ooh, we're going to come and stand over here and have a little bit of a moment with you guys. Because this dude is very powerful. Oh, no, no. Let's not go flying up in the air. Flying up in the air is not what we want to do. But you know what? We can go and get a few more hits in you. Then we're going to come and stand back up here with these guys and help them take down this pot. The funny thing is, this is meant to be, like, quite a high-level base. But I actually haven't found this base too difficult. Uh, oh, hi. Um, yeah, so it doesn't even have the lava coil thing, um, which some of the other bases have hard. Uh, so this base is quite a weak one to be completely honest with you. Um, I feel like it's just had more spawners <laughs> was the only real difficulty that I had uh, to be honest with you. But let me try and get a few more hits in on this guy uh, before... Oh no he's doing his little charge up. There we go. Now let's go and get a few more hits in on him. He's managed to take out a few of our guys while we've been working on the portal but honestly he hasn't done that much damage but the portal is down below 50 percent so we have 50 percent of the way done uh, so i can't see any way that we have to do like a full scale retreat here and um, i wish i could see this guy's health to be thoroughly honest with you but this portal is getting quite weak so you know we're doing well i'm getting quite a few hits on this guy here but this portal is falling really really quick fall. like we're already down to 33 percent on the portal and that is correct one little push and this portal is gone so realistically we're fine we're golden uh we can do this and we've still got our first brick who is protecting us so you know it's all going well uh, so let me just take this guy out oh we're down to 24 percent there we go we are going to take down this portal easy peasy Ah, flying, flying. Oh, didn't take any fall damage. The pot is down to 10% now, so we are really close to being able to uh, send this base away. And then that would be this entire type of piglin base destroyed. There we go. The piglins are invading. The piglins are on the move. There we go. That is that portal destroyed. Oh no. Doesn't look good. Um, it is time. The unbreakable has come for you. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Um, oh no, the unbreakable is coming for me. Um, do you know what? Actually, not that scared. I feel like he was trying to send a message, and you know, message received. Um, yeah. Not sure if I'm scared or not. Ooh, 
This is new. The Unbreakable Leader of the Horde of the Bastion. That is where we can defeat the Unbreakable. There we go. That entire area has just been created there. That sounds fun. So I suppose we need to go and defeat the Unbreakable. The Leader of the Horde of the the Bastion. I don't know if this is new or whether I just haven't seen this or whether it's just unlocked or something, but we've got a new little objectives thing down the side of the screen here. We've got Heart of the Bastion defeated 0 out of 1, Heart of the Hunt defeated 0 out of 1, and Horde of the Spore defeated 0 out of 1. Then we've got Villagers safe 5 out of 5, Mob Alliances 3 out of 3. I don't think we've got 3 out of 3. I feel like we haven't done the creepers yet. Um, and then we've got mounts discovered two of three. And then we've got first awoken one of four. And then we've got unique towers collected zero out of three. That sounds interesting. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to go and defeat the unbreakable leader of the horde of the bastion. But until the next episode, I would like to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.